It's about noon on a beautiful overcast day and we're going to go trash picking in a minute. But first, I want to show you what happens to the beautiful, flat, mint condition tortoiseshell pickguard on a vintage Stella guitar. If you're dumb enough to leave that guitar in your car in 90 degree heat for two straight days. I really don't get too upset about things like that guitar because I have carelessly ruined many many things over the years and I'm sure I'll ruin more. Something you just gotta try to avoid especially with really expensive things but it happens so don't be too upset about it. And please curb your dog. Let's see do we want some pine cones? No. Do we want Christmas lights? No. Tennis balls? No. Do we want the baby? There's the baby. No, we don't want the baby. I'm not sure if this is a first for me, but I think it is. I don't think I've ever found two of these jump boxes in the same pile. Why do you think they had two? They're both the same. You think they got one for Christmas and then got the other for Christmas? It's like one of those redundant presents and you're just a little too embarrassed to tell the one person or the other that you don't want it. However they got them, I want them and now I have them. You know things are about to get serious when I have on my glove. Seriously dirty. There's the glove, and here's the seriously dirty stuff. Let me tell you something, though. Burners like this don't come out of cheap grills. So these people had a nice grill. Real nice grill. Super, super nice grill. I need to rearrange the trunk. It's wicked dirty in here. Look at this. This is what happens when you put dirty scrap metal and rusty stuff and barbecue grates in your trunk. It's like an excavation in here. I really, really need to vacuum this at some point. Maybe I'll do that, I don't know, tomorrow? Tomorrow's like my day off. I just saw another lady at this pile, but I wanted to see, you know, I assume she took all the good stuff, but I want to see what's in this box. It looks like a toolbox. Yeah. Nothing great in here. I'm sure that'll drill. And what's that? That's the coolest awl I've ever seen. This drill, I call it a drill, but I think formally it's known as a bit brace. So there's nothing really good in here. I don't know if she took the good stuff. Do we want the rotary phone? Uh, I guess so. That's probably like the least desirable color you can imagine. Anything in here? Goodness. Really? See, this is why I gotta buy a GoPro. I don't really want a GoPro, but when you have a GoPro, you can do things with like one hand. I mean, two hands. Is this a radar dish from a Star Wars ship? Is that what this stuff is? Yeah, I'd probably, probably take some of that in a second. Ugh, gross old. Look, oh my God. I'm taking this jar. This is, this jar is my jar collection now. I don't have a jar collection, but now I do. I don't know what it is today, but there's a lot of stuff out. Looks like this stuff has already been picked through maybe at least once. What the heck is this? What do you think the people inside the houses think? When they see some dirty dude digging through their garbage. What's that? Is that brass? I don't know. Oh, I'm on 24 millimeters again. I'm sorry. Oh, 
doesn't really like. I mean, $7.99 at TJ Maxx. That means they don't want to pay a dollar for it. At Flea J Max. But I did I did see this Tonka truck. Oh, remember yesterday when we found that sewing machine? And there's all kinds of little goodies. Well, here's some goodies for a sewing machine, but they're not even with the sewing machine. So, let's take our Tonka truck and our little collectible tin and then get out of here because the guy is about to come out and start asking me what I'm doing with my camera. And, you know, that's a little awkward to explain why I'm walking around with a camera and a Tonka truck on a nice street and... Right now I'm stuck on a dead end street because they're cutting down trees, so... Let's at least enjoy the show. No joke, I was seriously stuck on that last street for like 20 minutes. But I don't know if stuck is the right word because I was enjoying watching those guys cut down trees and shred them. But now I'm at a pile that looks like it's got some bikes and it does, but they're all like, I don't know, crappy. This one's a Schwinn though. I don't think this is a Stingray. I think this is one of those early Schwinn BMXs, like a Scrambler or something, so we'll take that. The rest of them, I need a wider angle lens. Crop sensor, 15 millimeter, it ain't working. Eh. I could probably sell this Ross right now, but I'm not even gonna try, because that thing is gonna be annoying on the bike rack. Pink bike, no, but we will take this gnarly little uh, Schwinn. I don't know why, but I'm really bummed out today about the lack of wideness on my angle lens. But I guess we'll have to make do. Oh, look at this. Come on. When do you find that? And it's not, you know, it's not like, Look at this guy. And this thing? What the heck is that? Is that a Voltron? This is why you gotta look through these tubs of toys. Because you get like you know, this is a transformer toy, transformer toy from McDonald's. Why is that in there? All right, I won't bore you with that all day, but I will entertain you by doing a clog dance on the sidewalk. Clog, clog. Sorry. You know, I'm feeling a little bit sheepish about that. I gotta hurry through this pile before any pile hoppers show up. This guy puts out interesting stuff. Not great, interesting. Yeah, we don't want some old clothes. I'll close the tub in a minute. We don't want that. Bag of junk out of a drawer. Eh, you know what? I got room in the car. I'll take his junk drawer bag. Another bag of worthless crap. Do I want his desk stapler? No. Do I want a little copper pot? Yeah. But do I want it to be filled with bootleg fake CDs? No. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm just making a mess out here. See, this is what happens when you rush. See, there's not even a pile hopper here right now, but I'm in what you call a pile hopper panic. Worrying. Someone's gonna pull up and start digging. Go out like this box. The mega file. I'm gonna guess that you probably use this to look at like slides or something. I don't know what that is. That broke catastrophically and loudly. 
Hmm. Little trays, we want trays. Do we want a mirror? All right. This, wow. So I think what happens with these houses, they clean the house out for like literally years and then they get to the bottom of the barrel. That's what we're looking at now. That's the most adorable plunger I've ever seen in my entire 50 odd years on earth. That's great. So we beat the pile hoppers, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it really matters. I'm not sure why I'm getting out. This stuff looks really wretched, but it's a box of junk. And what we do for a living is we dig through boxes of junk. Wow. It's a rain soap box of junk. Want some baseball player. Wow. That's crazy. Like playing cards of a tax stamp. I'll take that. Big knife, dirty knife. I can't tell if this pile's been ravaged or if it was just terrible to begin with. But, let's see, what is this? Swiss Air. It's in the Swiss Air package. This is like what, what you get when you fly on a plane. What did you get when you flew on a plane back then? A comb? A... Yeah, I'm making no attempt to take this apart carefully because it's real garbage. But I just want to see what's in here. A tube of Colgate. <laughs> that is so awesome. A uh, little travel toothbrush. What else do we have? A cloth and a shoehorn. I mean, who uses that? So these are all rain soaked and everything. Otherwise, I might even take them. But it's a cool thing to look at. And then we have a piece of wood and more tennis balls. And I think that's the end of this pile. So. Let's go find a better pile, shall we? I've been looking for some chunks of pavement, so I'm glad that in this pile they have some for me. A whole bunch, actually. This is a nice one here. That's a nice one. I'm not sure which one I'll take, but you know, it's good to know we have a good variety. We have a whole tub full of pavement. Then let's see. This has Mia on it, and it has a piano. So, maybe we'll unzip it. Eh, just school book stuff. All right, I'll zip that up later. Now we got 1-800-M-A-T-T-R-E-S. Why are you using a camera in my front yard, sir? it when people call me sir you can call me whatever you want as long as you give me Romex little brass piece there this is something you find pretty regularly like a box that'll have a bunch of plumbing junk in it and some of that plumbing junk is brass like this little brass and copper fittings They don't really add up to much, though, but, yeah. And let's see what we got here. A block and deckle saw, which we don't want. Some wires, which we don't really want. Winnie the Pooh poster, which we don't want. A very heavy sewing machine. Let's unbuckle that pig and see what it is. Uh, 
Sears Kenmore. That's scrap metal, but we'll take it. And I guess that brings us back to uh, chunks of someone's driveway. It's really overcast today, and I've been spending more time trying to figure out how to use the camera than I have been picking. But I saw this thing. What is this? It says Southern Cross, and it's made of aluminum. I don't know what that is. But, uh... I guess I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it before the wind picks up and destroys the sound on this video. Looks like we got a little construction situation going on over here. But behind the construction is the garbage pile. And behind the garbage pile, look at this. Umbrella stands. This one's got a loose screw. That's what you look for. This one is uh, a wobbly hunk of junk, but they both weigh 25 pounds a piece. So you might ask, why do people throw out so many umbrella stands? And honestly, I don't know, but I appreciate that they do. So hip hip hooray for whoever threw these on the curb. This thing's really adorable. Check that out. It's like a little, little brass lamp. Made in Hong Kong. So that means it's probably old, in the 60s or something. Do you want these Conair curlers? No, probably not. I guess we'll just do that. Just take our little brass lamp, and I might not even scrap this. I might try to sell this thing. Tonight's been really slow, partially because it's slow and partially because I'm not focused. I mean, no pun intended. I've been kind of messing around with the new camera trying to figure out how to work that. As a result, I may not be paying attention out here like I should, but I paid enough attention to find this big, heavy cast iron sink. Oh, wow. Is this exciting? See, that might be considered a vintage sink, but I've never in my life been able to sell a sink for anything other than scrap metal. So it's gonna go with the scrap load. And while we're here, I didn't record because the people were out, but I did find this big tub under the Tonka truck. Big tub full of Power Ranger toys. Hi, I'm a Power Ranger guy. And this thing, some, uh, some wrestler dudes in there. Hey, brother. Uh, the camera's, I'm not focused, but the camera's not focused either. Oh, check that out. It's got facial recognition on my camera. Here. That is so cool. These are like little toys. Their faces are half an inch. Can we facial recognize that guy? Yeah. How about this guy? I am so impressed. How about Batman? I don't know. Nope. Sorry, Batman, you're all blurry. But, how about this guy? Uh, I cheated, I pushed my thumb on the screen. But yeah, this is so neat. It's like the people who look like people, we can zero in on real easily. And the people that don't look like people, the camera doesn't know what to do. So what do you guys say on the snowblower? I mean, it's in decent condition holes pretty well. It's clean up front. I have been getting a little too picky lately with the stuff I pick up, so maybe I should take the time to shove this in the old Camry. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do just that. There it is, the beast inside the beast. And I only broke this little plastic piece that holds this cable onto this bar, and then I broke 
my door handle housing a little bit. And I feel bad because just after I loaded this into the car, some guy drove by that had a van and I know he would have picked this up, so I feel kind of like a jerk. And he was eyeballing it in the Camry, like he was all sad. But he had a bike in his van, so now I'm sad. We're all sad. But I'm glad that I got this snowblower anyway. I think I may have seen an interesting thing here. We'll see. What do you think? Is this a good thing? I mean, from a scrap metal perspective, it's a good thing. <laughs> but, uh, wow, now, get, now it's tangled on an umbrella. But see, like this. Slow children. Actually, this child looks like he's pretty fast, I would say. So the sign is wrong, but I'm going to take it anyway because it is so cool. Also, it makes a great noise. So, you know, there's that. So we're in front of a really big house. And the people who own the big house have thrown these out. This is my arm. It really doesn't even reach across the thing. I mean, he's gotta be like two and a half feet in diameter. And they're only mildly cracked. What do they weigh? Oh my goodness. You know, I'm really sad. Because I could definitely sell these, and even if I can't, I definitely want them. But am I really going to try and shove 300 pounds of concrete into the Camry tonight? I don't think so. It's very sad. And on a sad note, I think we'll make this tonight's last pile. Let's see what we got. A lamp. A paper towel. Why do they have this? This came from like the dollar store. And they got like $600 worth of concrete planters in the garbage. How about that? Anyone want a license plate frame for your Range Rover? I don't see why not. Bike lock, it's already locked. DVD player. In a world of online downloads little tiny piece of copper so oh and here's a hose rail so I'd say that uh, this is kind of an anticlimactic ending I'd really love to show you the part where you put these in the Camry and drive off into the sunset but it's just not gonna happen so I uh, I guess I will just say that I do appreciate you guys coming along and keeping me company while I don't pick these things up. So until next time, thanks for watching and say goodbye to the planters. Goodbye planters. Well, what do you know? Turns out tonight's video has a happy ending after all. Because I got these two giant concrete planters into the Camry. Now let's not forget the license plate frame because that's really important. Thanks for watching. Not that I'm the kind of guy who would end a video three times in a row, but that was not going to work. I got right down the street and said, hell no. So we put our beauties back. And uh, I really need to clean my car at some point, too. But until next time, cry a tear with me for those concrete planters, and thanks for watching.